if, as a matter of fact, this virus was made specially for Nigerians. It's us that they want to clear. They want to start from Africa to finish all of us. When you finish drinking bottled water, yeah? Squeeze that bottle. As a matter of fact, crush it. Destroy that bottle. Stomp it. Oh my God. Burn it. Yes, I say burn it. Because this thing that is worrying us in this country, let us at least, let, let's tackle it from somewhere. Let's know the one that is doing us. Honestly speaking, before we start blaming governments for neglecting, eh? yes, we are going to blame them. I'm not saying you shouldn't blame them. We should blame them. We will blame them, sir. You understand? But before we do that, we, can, we should um, be able to do the need for the little that we can do to protect ourselves because the way i'm looking at this nigerian government hmm, my darlings my darlings well i honestly don't know how much of our best interest that they have at heart sincerely speaking okay uh, um, we need to look out for ourselves we need to take care of ourselves why am i saying you should scatter bottle water i will tell you but before i get into that how about <laughs> no bottle water the bottle after drinking the water yes destroy it my dears anyways before i go any further i'd like to welcome you guys to another wonderful episode of the kiwi show how we doing? It's your favorite girl, Jessie Rogers, here on again. And if this is your first time of seeing my face, how about you click the like button? Do not forget to subscribe. And of course, share to your friends because there is love in sharing. Okay, so my people, hmm, I know a lot of us have seen that uh, Nigeria has, um, you know, surprised us again. Nigeria happens to be the very first African country to receive the Mpox vaccine. Oh yes, oh yes, and we are the first to, you know, um, obtain the vaccine. And the reason why we are the first has actually been explained to us. So according to, um, you know, the US envoy to Nigeria, Nigeria received the first delivery because according to Nigeria, Nigerian government, and I quote, they have put together a vaccination plan. So there's a plan on how to use these vaccines effectively, how to make sure we get the most effect out of this 10,000 vaccine donation that is to be given to 5,000 persons in Nigeria, including the health personnel. So that's why very much Nigeria was the first um, country to be chosen to receive the first batch of the vaccine. So we will continue to work with Nigeria on efforts to stop the spread of the Mpox illness. So I know a lot of us, we, we, we know already that uh, the Mpox thingy is on the rise right now in Nigeria and you know, it's just spreading. Now it would interest you to know that this virus actually was first discovered in 1958, okay? In Basankusu in the Congolese province of Equator and resurfaced in the Congo in 2017. It's gradually spread from there across Africa before reaching Europe and North America, pushing and causing the World Health Organization to declare the epidemic a public health emergency in, to, uh, in July 2022. So you see, the thing, first of all, you, you know, there hasn't necessarily been a certified um, cure for monkeypox, right? Because that is what mpox is, monkey. There hasn't been a certified cure for it. Now we keep hearing things like, "Do not for you not for you to keep yourself protected." Oh, please don't uh, touch somebody that has it. I mean, it's pretty obvious when you see somebody who is sick to the point that the sickness is reflecting on their skin. You don't go touching them. No, you won't. You won't intentionally touch them. But that person now that is sick, how did they get it? Did they intentionally touch somebody that is saw carrying the infection? No, they did not. So now the question is. How did this thing even enter Nigeria? Like, how did it start and then is now spreading to this point that everybody now is on the alert? How did it get to this point? I, I mean, just like, uh, uh, I can't even liken the monkeypox virus now to the chickenpox and measles. And a lot of us, you know, had encounter with the chickenpox virus and the measles virus growing up. Okay, and it's almost, these are all skin related um, sicknesses. But the thing now is, unlike chicken pox, chicken pox, if we don't even know, <laughs> we don't even know what caused that one. We just know that ah, once you have it as a child, you never have it again. Okay, and same goes for measles and all that. There are a lot of myths surrounding the chicken pox and measles. Nobody really knows the real actual cause of these sicknesses. Monkey pox, on the other hand, now, it might interest you, first of all, to know that there are two types of the monkeypox, right? There's the clade one, that was uh, a long time ago, and it, it originated from, uh, I think that one was found in Central Africa first, and then the clade two, which is this not so severe type, it's a subtype of the first one, is the one that was discovered in West Africa, 
Ba, West Africa, which is uh, the Republic of Congo. I think that was where it was first discovered, like I said before, in 1958. There is no known cure for it. But does it go? Can you recover from monkeypox? So yes, you can, okay? Infected persons recover in space of like two weeks to four weeks, depending on the immune system of the victim, okay? So it's not like it's something that is going to be on your body forever. It, it's a skin disease. It can be very uncomfortable. You know how uncomfortable it is when you have chicken pox. But now here's the thing. Chicken pox, you, you can take stuff meds and all that you can even rub calamine lotion and they'll tell you to get seven keys and whatnot at the end of the day you get better but now with monkeypox we're hearing that it can actually go on its own all right you can recover from monkeypox without any special treatment and vaccines and whatnot but now there's a vaccine right that has been introduced to nigeria in fact it's actually being introduced to africa but nigeria are the first people to collect them now this vaccine what does it do exactly what is it going to do in our systems as nigeria is is it really is it really a vaccine is it really some sort of uh, immunization against the monkeypox if people take it doesn't mean they will not have or they don't um they won't uh, ever contact the disease what exactly is this vaccine going to do now here's the problem okay this vaccine first of all i want to ask why nigerians usually get very it it would actually it's actually very funny i won't even lie nigerians get really agitated whenever it comes to things like this now how true can they like how true are these claims okay because i remember during the time of covid right i remember during the time of covid um people were of the opinion so so many people were of the opinion that uh, the virus was intentionally created for the, the purpose of depopulation right the earth is becoming too stuffy and we need to cut down on the size of human beings on the earth otherwise the earth will crash blah 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 so many conspiracy theories you know were flying back then and then we had some nigerians say that if, as a matter of fact, this virus was made specially for Nigerians. It's us that they want to clear. They want to start from Africa to finish all of us. Now, I'm not going to like uh, debunk or try to um, water down that claim because I don't know how true it is. No, I don't. But um, why do we believe that? The, I'm just throwing out a question, actually. If you have the answer to that, please answer me in the comment section. I want to know, why do we believe so much that these people are out to cut us down life-wise? population wise why do we believe that why do why do we actually believe that they are out to hurt us and do not have our interest at heart and i'm talking about to the world health organization i'm talking about um you know the whole world at large the whole medical world let me be more specific the whole medical wor world why why does it look like whenever uh, um, some sort of pandemic or endemic starts it's Africa that they are targeting. Why do we have that mindset? Now, following the news of this um, vaccination, acquiration, uh, sorry, uh, acquisition, sorry, not acquisition. <laughs> now, following the acquisition of this vaccine by the Nigerian government, here is what Nigerians have to say about this situation. I mean, it's really, really crazy. So the first comment I have here, I'm looking at is, they want to test it on Nigerians first. Our population is too much. When people start the pie, that is, when people start the pie, make no day surprise though. Another person said, Nigeria, my country, the depopulation agenda starts now. We are too many for them. Why can't we even have sense? <laughs> A country of 200 million people. Another person said, I cover my family with the blood of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 And another person said, we don't turn guinea pig with them. They test everything for our body, Abby. Now Nigeria um, be dumping ground and he hisses. Okay. We have um, another person saying, Una don't start, Abby. Lab rats as usual. Depopulation vaccine. <laughs> okay. So this is how Nigerians feel about this vaccination thingy we are so many of them are of the opinion so you see this comments like you see the vibe the energy from this comment this is exactly how it was during the covid period when they brought the vaccine and they made the vaccine sort of mandatory if you want to like leave the country and stuff like that so so nigerians were of this same opinion now how true is this statement that's the funny thing so now I ask again, what exactly makes us like as Nigerians believe that, like why are we so sure that the world wants to end us or they want to reduce our population? I see an estimate, I keep seeing that we're an estimate of 200 million people, but in all honesty, 
including the Nigerians in diaspora, we're way more than 200 million people. But then again, is that enough reason for the world to want to take human lives in the name of depopulation? Is that enough reason? Anyways, I like I said before, I really don't know how true these claims are. Um, we, I, I, I don't used to do meeting with WHO, that's World Health Organization. <laughs> I can't really say for sure that that's exactly what they have in mind. But now, the thing is, whether or not our government is in agreement with the whole depopulation plan and have decided to give us up as lab rats, whether or not that is the situation, we as people we need to look out for ourselves because sometimes the truth of the matter is when i look at nigerians we don't really help ourselves much no we don't there there was a time where we were told oh don't eat noodles don't eat noodles it's too much this and that it's it's gonna cause cancer it's gonna cause this it's gonna cause that so people took the advice okay while some people looked for other ways to like you know help themselves you hear some people say that ah one thing must kill a man and they go ahead to consume some of these processed foods in large quantity it's one thing it's 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 one thing to like let's say you're having noodles once in a month once in two months you get then a case then then a scenario or a situation where you're having noodles every day or every week not just noodles there are other processed like processed foods that are imported into this country okay and we consume it in mass that's number one and then we also have cases where people who prepare roadside dishes now i'm not saying i'm not trying to talk down on um people's businesses no but i think it, it's better you do your findings you should be careful of what you put into your mouth what you put into your system because this whole idea of oh in order to avoid monkeypox so that monkeypox will not get to you don't touch somebody that has it don't come in close contact with somebody that has it i, I mean like door like i said before eh, eh, door if you see somebody who is sick and infected that is that it is showing on their skin why would you gonna be touching the person nobody's going to touch the person nobody's gonna do that but we need to know how did this thing even start in the first place because for it to have started i mean it started from somewhere that's the point it started from somewhere so how did that person get it did they also touch another person that has it how did that person too get it i don't know if you guys understand where i'm coming from as we don't have a defined source of this particular sickness we need to be careful okay we need to just take care of ourselves because the things we take into our system, it counts as well. They may not be um, a certified proof to say that, oh yes, is this thing that you ate that gave you monkeypox. But what are the possibilities that when you consume dead meat, that when you consume infected meat, an, an, meat, an animal that was sick before it died, they take it, they butcher it, and they still sell it. They sell it to you in different forms, whether alive or cooked. They sell it and people eat, people ingest. So when you're buying stuff or like there's food you want to cook or meat you want to cook, I think you should be thorough. When you want to buy already made food, like all this roadside um, uh, uh, what's it called grilled meats and roasted meats when you want to buy all those stuff that you're seeing on the road sometimes I even get uncomfortable you see food displayed in the open okay I know it's on fire I know that fire is burning it from the under it's gradually roasting it and the heat is killing germs but still at the same time it's very very disturbing when you see uh, um, food people selling food close to very unsanitary environments like you know unclean sewage systems I mean gutter Gotta, yes, stay close to Gotta. I don't know why I'm going to speak in plenty English. People that sell food close to Gotta, yes. And they don't try to like make it look clean, at least. You should be careful when you're buying food to eat. You're supposed to consider some of these things. So when you're sick, at least you know where the sickness is coming from and what kind of sickness it could be and how we're going to treat it. Now back to my bottle water issue. Why was I attacking bottle water? After drinking it, please break those bottles or crush it or, or destroy it. Whatever it is you want to do, just make sure it doesn't leave your hands in, in, in perfect condition. Why am I saying this? Now, sometimes for this country, now we they do ourselves. Now we they really do ourselves. You see people that hawk water on the road. Most of them don't get this water like authentically, like it's not original water from the companies you see eva people selling eva what um eva bottled water right or aquafina bottled water on the road but it's not from the eva company it's not from nestle water company it's not from uh, aquafina water company what do they do they can take your clean bottles that you just drank and threw aside they, they pick it up and they can get water from anywhere they don't care about your health they don't care what is going to happen to you if you die or not, it's not their business. What matters is that 300 that they collected from you for that water or the 500. Some of these people even sell water more expensive than hotels and you ask yourself why? 
when hotel sells a bottle of water for 500 or 1000 you say oh it's packaging it's because it's in the hotel if you buy it outside it will be lesser now you're not even buying it out outside that is like a shop outside no you are buying on road outside expressway that they are running and chasing you with the water yet they still sell it for outrageous amounts when they know that it's not original water these people pick up this bottle they can even get water from river river that people dump their poo in river that people pee pee and bathe in used to wash clothes They'll fetch water from there, put it inside as long as it's clean. Then they will buy new cork from the market, cover it, and sell it to you for 500. You buy your death at an expensive rate. Who knows, maybe if that's where the whole monkey shit started from. I mean, think about it. So we need to be careful and we need to help ourselves. We need to help one another. This whole vaccine thing and the government or the US or where, whoever trying to use us as lab rats, honestly, not them know. Now them savvy. There aren't really concrete proofs to, um, you know, like concrete evidences to prove these claims. But the little we can do for ourselves, please let us do. If you enjoyed this video, my people, how about you click that like button? Do not forget to subscribe and of course share to your friends. So, what are your thoughts on this particular issue? What is your hot take on this whole vaccination, first acquire vaccine thing going on in the country right now? What do you? thing so i will be in the comments i will be reading your thoughts on this particular issue and of course darlings it's been another wonderful episode with you guys here on the kiwi show i remain your sweet host jesse rogers and of course until next time when i'll be bringing you another very interesting topic it's going to be bye bye for now